The technique of multiprogramming can be performed in two different ways. Number one is time sharing processing and second one is real time processing. So at first we will discuss time sharing processing in detail. So time sharing processing. So the definition is writing the definition it is a mode of processing where the CPU time is divided CPU time is divided into equal slots okay and they are assigned and they are assigned to all the users connected to the system to execute their programs to execute their programs within the allotted time slot slots within the allotted time slot sorry so regarding this definition you need to remember some points number one the CPU time is shared the CPU time is shared among the users to execute their programs okay next one is if the user if the user cannot finish his or her task uh, within the given the given time slot then then the OS that means the operating system switches over to the next task and the user will have to wait for the next execution cycle to complete his or her task okay so if the user cannot finish his or her task within the given time slot then the OS switches over to the next task that means the next task will be executed and the user will have to wait for the next execution cycle to complete his or her task that means whenever the time slot will be divided again the time will be CPU time will be divided again then uh, the user will uh, get his chance to execute his or her task again okay and another thing also I need to tell that
here it is very important point as the OS as the OS switches walk switches sorry switches task very rapidly very rapidly each user has an illusion each user has an illusion that the task that the task of all the users of all the users are getting executed are getting executed simultaneously okay so actually all the tasks are not getting executed simultaneously okay so it is actually an illusion hence hence this processing system hence since um, time sharing processing is also known as multitasking multitasking so that is the reason okay but actually multitasking is the combination of it is the combination of uh, multi programming multi programming plus time sharing time sharing processing okay so multitasking is actually the combination of multi programming and time sharing processing and one thing you must remember about time sharing processing also that at any at any instance of time only one job only one on job is executed by the cpu okay so that actually happens at any instance of time only one job is executed by the cpu okay and an example of uh, time sharing processing is the computerized railway ticket reservation system where every user every user is provided with uh, with a monitor with a set of monitor and keyboard and a strong server is placed at one place and this server controls all these users okay so computerized railway ticket reservation system in any railway station is an example of uh, what time sharing system now we will discuss about real time processing now uh, consider a situation like operation in nuclear power plants missile throwing or control system in power plant industry where the response time is very crucial response time means uh, the difference of time between input and output and in those situations uh, fast response within a specified time interval is mandatory otherwise it will cause a huge damage or loss of uh, uh, human lives so in this situation in this situation we need uh, this real time processing system okay so the definition will be so the definition can be written like that it is a mode of processing it is a mode of processing where the system is able to interact system is able to interact with real world real world processes that changes 
quickly okay that changes quickly here the system here the system takes input of rapidly rapidly means quickly rapidly changing data and then provide output near instantaneously okay output near instantaneously so that the change over so the change over time is readily observed in such a system so that is the definition um, it is a bit tough but I think you understood that it is a mode of processing where the system is able to interact with the real world processes and that's why it is real time processing it is called real time processing that changes quickly here the system takes input of rapidly changing data and then provide output near instantaneously means it provides output very fast so that the change over time is readily observed in a system so uh, we need to uh, we need to access the output very quickly in uh, in such cases and those cases we need real time processing now some examples now examples of real time processing are applied so the real time processing can be applied in bank atms bank atms okay uh, you can say in traffic control system okay then e-commerce order processing etc